Well, look at that. We have our Ghost Hunter hut backpack. What a great way to start off our, uh, our episode. All right, it's a new day. We've completed our daily challenges, as you can see in our chat. And we're going to start off today with our base... Well, not basically, just killing revenants again, because I really need to get this grind out of the way. All right, so just realized our weather. I realized that uh, double XP weekend, well, not double XP, but bonus XP. Is it bonus? No, it's st still double XP, actually. Double XP week, the one that lasts for 10 days, and it happens every three months. It's supposed to actually happen in February. Now, I'm certainly not going to reach all of my free-to-play goals in February. Maybe I'll get the revenants killed by then. But as for everything else, you know, for money making and skilling, I mean, just not enough time. So what I was thinking since the start of that, this original series episode is that if uh, bonus XP does come out, then I'll probably play that. I'll probably just kind of do some Slayer and Necromancy to get those out of the way. And yeah, I'll try not to touch anything that's also in free to play. So yeah, those are my plans for those 10 days. All right, that's our first trip of the day done. And it looks like we've got exactly 5,000 remnants killed. We, that means we have 5,000 more, and we're just about halfway, if you don't include the 700 I already started with. Alright, so I'm about to turn in my daily challenges for today. Uh, basically, looks like as of this past week or last week or whenever exactly, sometime recently, uh, they made they returned the daily challenges to their normal length. So I'm guessing that if I just claim rewards now, I'll get half of what I got last time. And yeah, I got half about that. So it's about uh, 26k, 27k times 3, that's about... 70 something maybe close to 80 so yeah they did kind of nerf it a little bit oh uh, damn I, I i missed um my ancient statue when i went to the bathroom and i didn't realize that that was the last drop but yeah it looks like it's gone or is it no i think it's gone yeah it's definitely gone oh geez uh, if you couldn't tell from the last clip i'm just really salty about that whole kind of ancient statue thing i wonder how much it is actually maybe it's not worth that much if it's under a mill then i'll be it won't be too bad, but if it's like over, uh, it's, it's not gonna look good. Let's see. Okay, Wookie says there's a three mil elk, so yeah, we just lost big on that. All right, looks like we got some consolation. Just a few kills after we uh, missed our ancient statuette. Uh, now dragon chain body. Let's see how much it's worth. It's probably worth nothing, but yeah, it's worth eighty one k. So actually, not not eighty one k, but let's see, seventy two k. Okay, well, it's still a consolation. Though. All right, so we're just gonna use our Explorer's Ring for to uh, elk our corrupt dragon chain body. So here it goes, nothing. 65, 65 XP and uh, got a little bit richer. Okay, so I was testing out something that happened on one of my laptops. Now, basically, I had very similar issues that I'm currently having with RuneScape, although this one was for just for like YouTube videos. Uh, basically, I switched over my browser from Edge to Brave on that computer. And once I started using Brave, I haven't really had any problems since then, at least since using Brave extensively and not having like Edge in the background. So yeah, when I watch videos from now and I'm probably just gonna uh, use Brave and use YouTube through that. Okay, so as you can see, I've hit uh, 6,008, what was that? Yeah, 6,008 Revenants. I'm still not, my, still not completely done with my trip, so I'll start recording again once I'm done. Okay, so just a couple minutes ago, I got this Corrupt Dragon Mace from, I think it was some sort of Revenant. Uh, but I didn't have OBS online at the time because I didn't really feel like recording much today. Uh, basically, I'm still trying to work out what's going on with my laptop. You know, there's still some RAM issues, it looks like, or you know, RAM issues, but something to do with like the processor. Because I, I did notice a difference I mentioned yesterday, or earlier in this video rather, that I've been using Brave as a web browser. It looks like it's been helping, but it doesn't get rid of the problem completely. So, yeah. But back to our drawing mace, we can see it's about. 30k high elk, so yeah, it's okay. Oh yeah, I think as I mentioned in a previous video, that unfortunately my main computer, the one I'm using to play RuneScape on, actually has some issues with I think YouTube videos and stuff. It does f f freeze, I guess, like once a day or so, maybe twice a day. That's really less common than my laptop, so I mean, as long as I'm not doing something like bossing or whatever, then uh, I should be fine. Okay, so I just worked on, I think, defragmenting my laptop's hard drive as well as kind of trying to get the RAM issue sorted out. The RAM issue looks like didn't solve it completely. Uh, the last time I checked, I was only using it for like 25 minutes. So yeah, I'm just gonna use it for a longer time and hopefully um, that the browser issue is gonna be fixed. All right, it's about an hour. I just got back from a doctor's appointment. So I'm just really kind of tired right now. I'm probably not gonna record too much besides this particular clip, but yeah, we'll see you in the next one. We're at the clipboard day.
extra alive for a moment. I just turned in my crafting daily challenges and we're within 16k of getting a level. So tomorrow, assuming we do do our challenges, we're going to get that level. So yeah, again, I'm still on the same day, uh, still on the next clip, but no well. Oh, look at that. We got ourselves a corrupt dragon spear. I think it's like one mil or so. Uh, I don't really know. Let's see. Oh, it's 128k on the GE, but only 24k high elk. Okay. Alright, it's a new day, and we've done our daily challenges. Uh, let's see how many XP we have left. 15k, well, 15.5k. Uh, so with this next challenges, uh, we should get 104 crafting. So let's claim rewards. And we got 105 crafting. Very nice. So I'm probably not going to go to Revenants. Uh, the weather is a little bit inclement at the time, or at the moment. Uh, school has been dis delayed for today. Uh, well, yeah, I'll just sit here. I guess I'll burn some stuff. Uh, burn stuff. Well, hopefully I won't burn swordfish, but I'll probably burn prayer or bones, or, yeah, I'll burn bones, maybe, and, uh, maybe go to crafting at Achilles, or the, um, furnace, but, I don't know, the price of emerald necklaces has dropped quite a bit since I last went there, so, I don't know if it's still worth it. So, I guess my next short-term goal, or more or less short-term goal, is to try to get 103 cooking by the end of this weekend. Uh, maybe I could make it by the beginning of this weekend, it's already Wednesday now, so, uh, we'll see how that works out. All right, so I'm less than 500 uh, kills away from 7k kills. Uh, probably not going to get it this episode, or, well, definitely not today. Maybe this episode, maybe not. Uh, it depends on how it goes, but, yeah, so I'll just finish this trip and then probably go back to cooking. Okay, we just got under 6,700 6, killed, 6,699. 6, uh, it's going to end it for this trip, and, yeah, I'm going to go back to, like, G and um, cook until, what is it, 103 cooking. All right, looks like we just got 103 virtual cooking. Very nice. And we are, how many XP? 2.015 million XP left. Okay. And eventually we'll get there, but let's see what we have left. We have 2.4 mil left in crafting, 456 left in prayer. So maybe I'll switch over to prayer after a little while. All right, so a couple minutes ago, I started my daily rev trip. I'm probably going to get 200 this trip. So I'm going to clock out about 6,900. Let's definitely get 7,000 over the weekend. Maybe we'll get 8,000 if I really try and bust it out. But uh, yeah, I'll see you when this trip ends. So I've been working my plans for double XP weekend. That's probably going to happen sometime in February. Uh, I guess maybe towards the end. That's, that's when the last one was. Now, I've been debating whether I want to get members and just get my Slayer up. But I think that I do have quite a bit of uh, XP left. In, for example, Prayer and Crafting. That's just bonus XP. So maybe I'll try to get rid of that in the future during bonus XP. As in, I'll remain free to play for that time. And hopefully we can get some pets during then. So also I noticed that in uh, the fishing skill I have 1.6 mil. Now that was because a long time ago I was, uh, when I was free to play, I just sort of fished for no real reason because it just felt like training fishing. And right now I got up to about 107 or so. So I don't know, maybe we'll use that up during the bonus XP. I mean, I know it would take away from like time that could be used to train prayer crafting. But if I got those two skills out of the way, I'd probably just, you know, fish for the hell of it. Yeah, so a funny thing just came to mind. I remember back when I was playing Armies of Gilnor a long time ago on the front screen, a loading screen, there was this quote called, uh, slowly but surely moves the mind of the gods. Uh, basically it's attributed to some Greek philosopher, but when I looked it up just now, I couldn't find it. So, yeah, maybe this applies to our sort of revenant strategy. We're going to get a little bit done every day, maybe a couple hundred every day, but after a month or so, we should definitely um, definitely get 10,000, and then we can go back to other skilling and flipping and other good, uh, good stuff. And so far, you pay-to-play players uh, who are watching my videos. A couple a couple days ago, I think there was a live stream from RuneScape. They were talking about how they would continue to upgrade or update the graphics for Kandarin. Uh, I haven't seen that live stream. I'm still waiting for some videos to, about it to explain and come out. But I haven't really much been on YouTube RuneScape lately. So probably somebody like, you know, Pertox or Init, yeah, has probably kind of uh, covered it. But yeah, if, if it's the whole of Kandarin, it's probably not going to include all the buildings because you've seen a lot of the sort of shading that's happened in free-to-play worlds, for example, although... I actually did update some of the caverns, but I think that with the Canon update, they're not going to update the building so much as they've said in the past, but just sort of like the sort of foliage and the shadows and the grass and that sort of thing. And on a final thing to note, it uh, looks like, um, let's see, I cleaned my desk earlier and now I have a little bit more room for like an extra screen for a workstation. Now, I talked about my laptop that I was trying to get working, but unfortunately the issues have remained despite me trying my best to kind of resolve them. So I do have a tablet though, I can have a t little tablet stand, or technically two, but I have like a little sort of plastic one, but yeah, I'm depending on whether or not I want to switch over that station to my tablet, although I'm interested that the tablet has a longer battery life, but uh, yeah, so I have that laptop, um, it's probably not going to cost too much to replace, but yeah, I really should just call somebody like GeekSquad, which in the US is like something to do with Best Buy, 
Uh, so maybe I'll do that. So that's going to be it for this episode. If you please, if you liked it, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out with the algorithm and getting new subscribers and views and followers, etc. And hopefully I'll see you in the next installment of the series. Take care.